This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I want to talk about Anderson Cooper and Amber Heard. Now I have to say something I'd rather not say, but I think it's important that we're coming from this angle, is that I don't like Anderson Cooper. I don't like him at all, and I could say a lot of negative things about him, but I'm going to put that aside completely. I actually never looked at him personally because I was so wrapped up in the political things, things I disagreed with. So having said that, and like I said, I'd rather not get into it, keep in mind, I don't like this guy. However, when you look at pictures of him and this surrogate baby, they look pretty authentic to me. Now this one here is for the cover of People, so obviously he's posing for this. But even still, he still looks pretty happy. So we'll see Amber's in a minute, but first let's take a look at some of Anderson's here. Again, this one's for people, but it looks pretty good. It's a pretty nice smile. All right, we have those. Let's see the planned one that Amber took. Here it is. This one's obviously a planned photo. Looks like a photo shoot type thing. I think it's the first one she released to the public and she's not really smiling. She's just kind of creating it like she cares, like it's important, like she's showing she's trying to be a mother. But okay, let's see a few more homemade type ones. Here's the next one for Anderson. And again, he's got that smile. And like I said, and I hate to say it, I really do, but there's some things he puts out there on CNN that I feel are so faked and you could tell when he's got that face and sometimes it doesn't seem like he believes what he's saying. And to look at a guy like this, who I generally view as a skeptic of, and get a feeling like this, I think shows he cares for this baby. And the things he said in People about how the baby's a miracle, he's so happy to have it, and all those types of things, he didn't get political about it, and he's the political guy. He's in one of the most politically leaning news medias in the world. But Amber Heard is the one who gets political about it. Here's another one. Looks pretty authentic to me. Looks like he's happy to have this baby. Here it is again. I mean, I... Almost can't believe that I'm looking at pictures of this guy who, like I said, I'm usually skeptical of, and it looks pretty real to me. I've seen him do a story standing on his knees in the rain, and it was reported as a fucking typhoon that was blowing people's houses off, kind of like Geraldo, you know, going to war from a studio or something like that. But I don't feel like these are fake. I, I just don't feel like that. Obviously, all we have is our opinion here. I gotta throw that out there as a disclaimer. I'm not going by fact here. I don't have anything figured out that nobody else knows. You guys are looking at it just like I am. But the feeling I get is way more authentic than Amber's. Here's another one. This is like a home shot. He's always smiling. He's always happy when he takes these pictures. This one's pretty serious. Pretty serious stare in the camera. Okay. And now look at Amber. I mean, can she even fake a big smile? When you're genuinely happy with something, that's going to show through much better than you could fake. And by the way, she's on the cell phone here. I mean, it's not unthinkable. I've done it once in a while, but usually, you know, you get spilled milk or... You adjust the phone and the bottle cap goes in the baby's nose or something. You're like, ah, I shouldn't be doing this, you know, and you put the phone down in most cases. So just to point that out, little detail, it's not the end of the world. It's not a crime, but it's not a great thing. And this I point out quite a bit. This isn't her baby. This is old, but uh, judging by the way she's holding that baby and that dog, it almost looks like she's going to drop the baby and she's more concerned about the dog. She also looks like she's more concerned about taking that picture than the baby. So when I saw this and I posted this 
quite a few months ago, a lot of people were like, man, I really hope Amber Heard, you know, never gets a baby. And well, the rest is history. And there's this one here. We do see her smile one time in this photo set, but most of the pictures are like this, where she's just kind of like, meh, you know, going out for a stroll with her friend, taking some pictures. I think she got some wine that day. I don't know. It just didn't really feel authentic. Then we have this here from her Instagram. This is a screenshot or a still shot from multiple shots, but throughout the entire clip, which is I think about a minute or 40 seconds or whatever, there's not really much genuineness, not that much emotion. Most of the pictures are about the drink and the baby's just there. Then there's this one. She's really focused on that product placement and selling that Apple computer. She's also got an Apple watch on. What are the odds that she takes this picture where the Apple products are centered in the picture and she's like really concentrating on it, looking at it. I mean, people hold babies while they're doing other things. It's not like you can't concentrate when you have a baby also, but at this stage of the game, you know, you figure there'd be a little bit more of playfulness and excitement and that feeling like, I can't believe this is happening. But a product placement picture? Well, I hope Apple takes notice. And I hope they go to court in Virginia and they're listening when that verdict, very hopefully, doesn't go her way. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Like I said, don't take this as fact. I don't know anything you guys don't know about Anderson, about Amber. Just judging by his pictures here. And especially, I have to reiterate, a guy I'm not very fond of, it just seems like this is more of the real deal of a person when you get a surrogate baby. And I also must reiterate one time, he is the political guy. Yet Amber Heard is the one getting political about it by saying it's not about anything except how I had this baby, how it came into the world. Or rather, I should say, that's the most important thing she said. But Anderson here seems to me like he's saying he's so happy to have it. He can't believe it. It's a miracle. The more normal type things you would expect when someone did have a baby, even through surrogate. Just having this person in your life. This newborn in your life. Quick shout out to Blue Dizey who left me this comment. And I, of course, checked it out. So thank you very much. And also... If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing Depp vs. Heard, Pop Culture, Little Meghan Marco, whatever comes up in the news that's interesting. And if you don't subscribe, well, I guess I'll be sad. But I'll get over it. See you next time.